Hi guys, welcome back once again. My name is Karthik and I am from azeroautomation.com and it's been a long time we have never discussed anything face to face starting this year. I guess only one video we released this year like the automation testing trends of 2020 but this is a whole long past that we have never discussed face to face but we have discussed many different videos but yes this is for the first time after a long break we are discussing right now. Well hope you're all doing great and you're maintaining the social distancing during this global pandemic situation. A lot of things have changed. I mean this global pandemic situation has taught us so many different things where you can see that we can now see the change in the way we work from home. We also saw the changes like remotely studying, like all our children are studying at home using the phones. And also we can see that the number of transportation has decreased and at the same time the global warming is also coming a little bit lower this time while compared to last year by the same time. And you can see that, I mean, the only species of 2020 which has gone terribly bad is human being, whereas the other species are a bit more sophisticatedly enjoying this time. I mean, I just assume that they are enjoying, but there may be situations they are still in the recovery phase. It's gonna take at least 100 years for them to recover the devastation that we have made as a human being. But yes, this is what is happening right now during this global pandemic situation. Well, as I said, so many different problems are going on and so many good things are also happening at the same time. A lot of vaccines are being identified by different countries. A lot of people are really working hard for getting that. But if you see all these things which is happening currently at the moment, these are great thing in the human history. Probably whatever that the life that we are living today is going to be there in the history for a pretty long time in the human history. Well, let's get to the topic that we are going to be talking today. Well, today's topic is nothing to do with the new topics or the new course which I'm going to be releasing like usually what I do. But today we are actually going to talk about the new platform which Exit Automation is going to be releasing to the whole world. So let's not talk about the new launch itself. Let's just go and look back the how Exit Automation came all this way and how it is going to be launching this new platform and the reason for launching this new platform. Well, in 2012, Exit Automation blog was actually launched to the whole world and a lot of people started realizing that this is the way that they have to do automation testing and there were so many different articles being written uh, from 2012 to 2014. I mean, that's the time where I was writing so many articles and there was the only media I tried to communicate with the community of QA. But in 2014, Exit Automation YouTube channel was launched. I mean, it was a late 2014, I guess in December, I launched the uh, YouTube channel. And then I started releasing many different videos specifically for the automation testing. I guess that was the only channel by then in 2014, while there was fully focusing on the topics which were not there elsewhere on the internet. Something like Coda UI testing, Specflow, and Selenium with C Sharp, Selenium with Java, and then uh, Appium with C Sharp and Appium with Java. So these are the topics which were not there by then and it was like a course format and that too for free because there were many different sites by then and they were all completely paid uh, and also the topics which was covered was also not that great I guess. I don't blame basically but that's what is the case by then I really realized that we need to give something for free and I launched that. Well, in 2016, we realized that the Exit Automation YouTube channel's video, even though it reaches many millions of people, it was not that great. I mean, it was not hitting that nail on the head to tell people that this is what is the concept that you should be looking for. Because there are so many different videos and it was not much organized and people have to always go through many different videos because in most of my videos, I used to say that, please refer my previous video. And that's the confusion. Most of the time they get confusion like which video they should be referring for because they will be halfway through the course. The previous video may not be there in the playlist or maybe they could, will have a hard time finding the playlist and those where the problem came in. And that's when in 2016 I went to Udemy because Udemy is more like a educational platform. And of course it is an educational platform not just for software testing but for many different technologies. A lot of students start to gain the knowledge on that and they think that it's better than YouTube 
in Udemy and a lot of students are to enroll and recently I would have released uh, a message saying that I have got like 200,000 students in Udemy which is super cool right I mean there are so many students enrolled than compared to my YouTube itself I still have I guess 55,000 subscribers in YouTube so it's that Udemy which has 200,000 students so you can see that the number of uh, students in Udemy platform is too too much than compared to YouTube itself so it clearly tells that the platform is the key for students to get into for learning and then in Udemy there were so many different restrictions came starting early this year so that was the reason why we started to think that why not let's build our own platform and some of the restrictions in Udemy were like free courses has to be restricted to just two hours but most of my courses in Udemy which are free are actually more than two hours so more like four hours or something like that so I cannot really have all my free courses which I'm going to be publishing even can be of more than four hours because Udemy is going to restrict that and that's the reason I started to realize that the Udemy is not going to be something which I can really make use of for delivering to the community something for free and that's why we need to have our own platform and there were some other restrictions like you can't really ask any question on the free courses and also you can't comment on the free course or something like that so all these restrictions are something which made Udemy in a bit more inaccessible way for the students and also there is no learning path in Udemy for instance if anybody who is new to the automation testing let's say on Selenium C Sharp how do they get started because all my courses are like in a format like Selenium with C Sharp or in Selenium with PDD or BDD with Specflow or something like that. So there is no organized way that I can tell that you need to complete this first and then get into this and then get into that. So there is no learn path for that. So in order to resolve all these problems, we created this new platform. But before getting into the new platform, I'll quickly show you how Execute Automation's already existing platform which we released on 2018 is actually looking like the old platform that we released in 2018 actually has got exactly the same kind of vision that we had to the students like creating a course for all the YouTube videos but again that lacks a few hiccups even though we have more than like 13,000 student enrolled on the platform there is a maintenance nightmare the reason being it was actually built on the top of the WordPress framework and it was bit more harder for me to actually manage on how to really really use that platform and even extend that platform for future generations and that's the reason we also start to scrap that new old platform and this platform as you can see over here actually has got all the courses listed something like this and it also have the popular courses blog and stuff and if you go to any one of the course let's say build deploy test with TFS and selenium you can actually see that course is going to be listed for you over here and you can actually see all those different lectures being coming in for that particular course as well and there are like almost 367 students being enrolled and if they try to take this course they need to be logged in and we have as i told there are more than 13,000 students being enrolled this platform is great once again it's no harm on that and this particular site has got some of the problem with maintaining or extending for the future generation as I told you before and it doesn't really have the learn path if I want to then it probably have to put some plugin and it's going to be more ruining my platform so in order to eradicate all this problem we built a platform from the complete ground up I mean we built the whole framework from the complete ground up and then we created this platform so this platform which I'm going to talk about is going to be this one. 